Hello guys, Marco Schwartz here and in this video I will show you how to use iOS Pro using the ESP8266. So I will show you how you can control this chip and any project that you have around this chip from anywhere in the world using iOS Pro. And especially I will guide you through the features that are really unique to iOS Pro. So let's start. So let's first see what we need for the project. So first, you will need an ESP8266 board. So here I will use an Adafruit Feather board, which is really easy to use as it gets this micro USB connector. So you can directly plug it to your computer and use it just as it is without any external components. Then I will use a breadboard to make all the connections. Just as a test, I will use a simple resistor and an LED. And finally, you will need the usual jumper cables. So now let's see how to assemble everything. The first thing we need to assemble is the ESP board on the breadboard. That's really easy. You just need to connect it on the breadboard. Then place the resistor on the breadboard along with the resistor, the LED, sorry. And just place the longest pin of the LED connected to the resistor. So just like this. Then take a cable from the board, from the pin which is called ground, which is right here, and connect it to the other pin of the LED. Then take another cable and just go from pin number 5, which is this pin over there, and go to the other pin of the resistor. And here you have the fully assembled project. Ok, so now I will show you how to create an ARES Pro account, and also how to configure the board, and later we'll see how to configure that, and also how to control the board from your IRS dashboard using the Pro features. The first, if you don't have an account yet, just go to dashboard.irest.io. So this is basically a website that is used to configure dashboards for IRS, but also since the introduction of the Pro accounts, I have this devices manager here and also access some data about your account. So I would just click on account here, and as you can see, I already have um, a pro plan using the starter plan here on this account. But if you don't, really, you will have a link here, and just click for the button upgrading, and you will be able to select your plan. So here I will keep with the starter plan, which gives you up to five devices for arrest on the pro server, which means on the first high availability server that will also give you access to all the devices manager and all other features just for free, up to five devices connected at the same time. So I will go back to account and I will copy this key here because I will need it in a moment uh, inside the Arduino IDE. So now let's go back to the Arduino IDE and I will open the example ARES sketch, so I will go to sketchbook um, or to examples. ARES and you have an ESP8266 Cloud Pro sketch and this is the one I will open here. So of course this is an example from a sketch, so I will just save it as another one, so I will just uh, ESP8266 Pro video and now let's open this here so now I can modify it as I want so what I will do um, you don't need to to know all the details about this uh, I will just change some things like the name here I will call it video um, the rest you don't need to change I will just modify here my Wi-Fi name and password here, and also insert my ARES Pro key 
over there. So once this is done, you need to select the right board. So I am using an Adafruit board here, the right sail port. This is the sail port for my board here. And then you can just actually upload um, this sketch to the board. So once this is done, just check that we are actually connected to uh, iOS by opening the serial monitor and just making a reset on the board. As you can see, we are connected now to iOS.io and we can proceed further and really control our device from anywhere in the world. So now I will show you how to actually see if your device is actually connected to the server using the dashboard. And let's go now to devices. The devices is something that is not available if you don't register for an IRS Pro account. And I will just click on devices here. And as you can see, I have my device ESP8266 video that I just created, which is now available inside this nice devices manager. And I can see where it was online and also the ID of the device. So now let's actually control our device. So I will go to dashboards. I will create a new one like ESP8266 Pro video. I will add a new dashboard here. So inside this dashboard, I will now click on show edit mode to add a new element. So I will, for example, simply name it LED because I want to control this LED here. And as you can see, I have a nice menu here that allows me to automatically select the device I want to control. This is something that's not available if you don't have a, an ARS Pro plan, because you cannot simply know which devices are connected to your account. So really, if you want to enjoy this feature, you just have to select the device that you want to control. I would really recommend trying an ARS Pro uh, plan inside your IRS account. So now I will say this one, which is uh, the video device digital. I am on pin number five and I will create a bunch of on and off buttons. And I will just click on create new element. I will hide this and as you can see immediately, I created this, this element here in my dashboard uh, with the right device. It's online and I will also try it right now. So if I click on on, as you can see immediately, the LED came on, on my board. Off, on again, and off again. As you can see, it's very fast because ARS Pro is using a very fast server to handle all these devices. Do it again, on and off. And really, I invite you to try, for example, also the Devices Manager. As you can see, you have all your devices listed in here. And let's just make a test if I just now plug this device off the power. So it will take a while, but as you can see now, it's offline. So the server detected that the device is offline and you can immediately see it inside the dashboard. I will just put it back online. And again, very quickly, the device is back online on your dashboard. And this is something that's only available with iOS Pro. So let's go back to the dashboard. Let's try it one more time. See if it still works. It's still online. On, off, on again, and off again. So this was a simple demo of the iOS Pro features that are available inside the iOS dashboard. So what we saw is 
the auto registration of devices so you don't have to put an ID inside each sketch you just need to provide your key and it will automatically register on the server inside the devices manager which is also exclusive to iOS Pro and then we saw that there are some nice features in the dashboard as well it's very fast and also you just need to select your device that you want to control from a list and not have to put it by hand so these are all the features from iOS Pro that will allow you to control an ESP8266 board from anywhere in the world. And of course, this is also compatible with other boards like Arduino. So this is how it is the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. So in this video, we saw how to use iOS Pro to control your ESP8266 board from anywhere in the world. Of course, this is working for other boards like Arduino and Raspberry Pi. So if you have any questions or comments about this video, about iOS Pro, how to subscribe to it, how to use it, please leave them below and I will answer to all of them. Thank you again for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.